everyone, Chris Turnett here for Car Player TV, and I'm with Steve Bilirakis, the youngest World Series of Poker bracelet winner still. We've had your record for over a year or so. Going into this World Series of Poker, um, what have you been doing to prepare, and are you ready to get another bracelet? Yeah, I'm ready to get another bracelet. I've been uh, just practicing a lot of tournaments online and uh, trying not to play every day and get burnt out like I have been in a couple of years past. So, uh, yeah, just take it easy and uh, relax, enjoy myself, and uh, hopefully I'll be ready mentally when the World Series comes on. I know you're a big cash game player. How do you separate wanting to make money, the consistent money that you can in a cash game, with concentrating on tournaments and keeping in tournament mode? Um, I just uh, I just only play a tournament when I'm just feeling like uh, doing something a little different. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, Tournament to me is just like sh playing a short stack in a cash game. So if I'm playing uh, 1,500 blinds in a cash game, playing a tournament, it's basically like playing like a $5,000 stack, which is short money in a cash game. But in a, uh, in a tournament, that's that's just how a tournament's played. So I just play tighter and uh, just look to steal blind instead of look to uh, to win the monster pot. Now, is that title important to you, youngest World Series of Poker bracelet winner? No, I don't think so. Uh, I'd rather have uh, the most bracelets won and not have that record. Because mm -hmm. it's really, I just got lucky that I happened to turn 21 a week before I signed up for the event. So it's, it's not really that big of a deal. It's a cool accomplishment and it's cool to be in the record books or whatever, but it's nothing, I don't think about it too much. Do you think that anybody's even going to be able to break your record? Do you have any friends that you know play online that might have a chance and are just turning 21 at that time? Uh, last year, I think, Viv or the same year that I won it, Vivek, uh, I don't know his last name, but he's really good. He won the heads up at the LFPC, last and I think, time? yeah, he uh, he was on the final table with a chance to break my record like one week after oh, mine. Oh, really? So it could definitely be done, but not likely. They have to turn 21 seven or eight days right. after and, and enter an event and win it seven or eight days after they turn 21, so it's probably not going to happen. I actually have side action. I have a bet. I laid five to one that it wouldn't happen for the next five years. Oh, really? Yeah. How much did you put on that, and who did you bet against? Uh, against Mark Safe. I put up 25000 to his 5000 Oh wow. it wouldn't happen. All right. Well, then I guess good luck with keeping that. That's got a lot of money on the line there. Yeah. Now, you got your first World Series of Poker bracelet winner, and we've been asking people, who do you think is the best player without a WSOP bracelet? Wow, that's a good one. Uh, I'll give you a couple names. Yeah, give we've me got, some names. We've got yeah. Gus Hansen, we've got Andy Block. He seems to have gotten second a, a few times. So yeah. I know there's a lot of good internet players out there. I don't know if uh, you yeah, guys definitely I get a lot of good internet players. I think uh, Wes Menlo is okay. one of the better players in the world. Uh, Isaac Barron is his real name. Right. And uh, Vivek doesn't have a bracelet, and I have all kinds of respect for him. And uh, James Mackey, I don't think, has a bracelet, and he's one of the best players in the world as well. So, yeah, those are the three players who I think are the best and most underrated players in the world. All right, now you have your World Series of Poker bracelet, like I said. Do you have any bracelets, uh, bracelet bets to win another one? No, I, uh, I wanted to get in on Phil Ivey's bet last year, bet against him, of course, mm -hmm. but no, I don't have any bets like that. I might look to do some, uh, some kind of bet versus somebody else me getting a bracelet versus him, but I won't bet right. that I'll actually win one because it's obviously just not likely that you win one out of 30 tournaments. It's just too hard. So many tables, too. Yeah, so many it's too hard. All right. Thank you so much, and good luck in this upcoming World Series of Poker.